All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about Borges and I by Jorge Luis Borges. This is a very short story, only about one page long, so I'm going to have something really short to say about it. This is a story about the author, Jorge Borges, and he is going through a sort of identity crisis. He feels like there is a divide between Borges, the one that things happen to, and another identity of his that just kind of observes what Borges goes through. And we're not sure exactly why this divide is there, but it is suggested that the reason why it's there is because Borges, the famous author, has been caught in the trap of defining himself uh, by his works, by what he is able to create. And this is one of the ethics that I've extracted from this story. It's, it's that your true self is lost when you define yourself by your works or achievements. And there's a little passage in the story that I want to read that, that is Borges explaining how that is happening to him. He writes, I live, let myself go on living so that Borges may contrive his literature. And this literature justifies me. It is no effort for me to confess that he has achieved some valid pages, but those pages cannot save me, perhaps because what is good belongs to no one, not even to him, but rather to the language and tradition. So this identity of Borges is just observing uh, Borges writing, uh, writing literature, and he's completely defined himself based on what he can create and and this has caused him to have a have a divided identity another ethic that we can take from this story is is that you're either becoming more and more like yourself every day or you're becoming more and more like somebody else and unfortunately it seems like borges in this story is going in the direction of becoming more and more like someone else and that's that's a trap that many people can get caught up, caught up in because it's risky to be yourself and you know there's it, you can experience judgment by being yourself but ultimately it's more risky to be someone else because you know the last thing you want to do is be at the end of the li end of your life and realize that you've been someone that that you aren't and so i think we can learn some valuable things from this story, although it's written from the perspective of a man who is unfortunately completely divided within himself. So that's my little breakdown of this short story, this very short, short story. And the next story that I'm going to talk about, and I will release the video for this one next Wednesday, is called Boys and Girls by Alice Monroe. So if you want to watch the video for the next short story and have already read that short story, you can. That's going to be Boys and Girls by Alice Monroe. Thanks for watching, as always, and have a great day.